and this is again a useful problem on center of mass here we are given two masses connected by a spring with spring constant k and mass m2 is being pulled by one force f now we have to find what is the maximum extension in the string spring there are two methods one method is a lengthier method i have done it by that also you can take x1 and x2 as the coordinates write the differential equation write the solution and then put the initial conditions but that is slightly lengthier i have solved using that also it is available the other method is, is the shorter method but it needs certain concept of the center of mass here if you take any system if any system is getting an external force this system may have various masses it will have an acceleration of center of mass which is equal to f upon sum of all the masses that will be the acceleration of center of mass it is not necessary that this acceleration of center of mass will be the same acceleration for all the masses if it's a rigid body it's same but if there are springs and all like this each body may have its own acceleration but we are talking about the center of mass then the center of mass acceleration is force divided by the sum of masses so in this case the center of mass acceleration is f upon m1 plus m2 now we shift our frame of reference from the fixed frame earlier the ground was our reference now i shifted from ground to a reference which is my center of mass now i am seeing everything in this frame and this is moving with an acceleration now when this is moving with an acceleration now i look at this spring when this frame of reference is moving each body will experience a pseudo force because of this acceleration here the pseudo force acting at this point will be because of this force pseudo force acting on m1 it will be m1 a center of mass here there was another mass the pseudo force acting will be m2 a center of mass and one force was anyway acting which will remain there now what is the net force acting here is m1 a center of mass at this end of the spring and here the net force acting in towards right is f minus m2 a center of mass now these forces which are acting are constant forces which are acting on the spring end of the spring let this produce an extension on this side this was the spring and this i am seeing in the center of mass so this extension x1 and extension x2 these are in the center of mass in this frame and some force was acting here f1 some force was acting here f2 the work done by these forces in this frame i am looking is f1 x1 plus f2 x2 is the work done now this work will give energy potential energy to the spring which is half k delta square which is the total extension total extension will be x1 plus x2 and also the kinetic energy of the two masses so it will be half m1 v1 square this is in center of mass with respect to center of mass plus half m2 v2 with respect to center of mass plus half k x1 plus x2 whole square now when the extension is maximum the spring has been extended to the maximum there is no relative movement between these two masses these two masses are not moving relative to each other so they will be having a common velocity so if this is m1 this is m2 and there is some velocity v both will have same velocity so what is the velocity of center of mass is m1 v plus m2 v upon m1 plus m2 what is that that will come as v the velocity of center of mass is v and what is the velocity of one with respect to center of mass will be v 
minus v center of mass which is zero so there is no relative movement point which is to be noted is there is no relative movement in case of spring when there is maximum extension there is no relative movement between the objects attached to the spring and the center of mass when the spring is fully stretched so these two are zero and now what was f1 what is the value let us put f1 was m1 a center of mass is f upon m1 plus m2 into x1 plus what is f2 f2 was f minus minus m2 a center of mass m2 f upon m1 plus m2 into x2 is equal to half k x1 plus x2 whole square i rub this now when we solve it this part will become x1 m1 f upon m1 plus m2 and this will become m1 f x2 upon m1 plus m2 so it has become m1 f upon m1 plus m2 into x1 plus x2 is equal to half k x1 plus x2 whole square so x1 plus x2 will come as twice m1 f upon k into m1 plus m2 so this is the solution the other solution is lengthier but this is not lengthy it's a shortcut method only thing is it needs the concept of center of mass and you can compare the units also to check the answer this m units get cancelled and force is k into x so units are okay so the answer should be correct